Before the first dispatch to the scene. Before the fire trucks. And the ambulances. And the CPR. Before the rush through the ER doors. Before an officer delivers the news no family wants to hear. There are decisions to be made. Make the right ones. Wow, Ashley, what a powerful, powerful PSA. That's right, Quincy. The DMV's Local Heroes campaign featuring statewide first responders aims to get people to slow down, buckle up, and drive sober. All right, well, we have a first responder here with us today. I'd like to welcome to Living 757, Gina Wurzer. How are you doing there, Gina? Hi. Did I say the last name correctly? You did. You aced it. They I were aced here. it. Yes. <laughs> Wurzer. Wurzer. Now, a couple things. You were just in that PSA that we watched. Yes. Fabulous acting skills. Thank you. And <laughs> also totally off script. I heard your phone ringing before we got started. You heard my chickens clucking. I did hear the chickens. Oh, gosh. You had chickens? I had a dozen chickens before I moved here from northern New England. Okay. I'm a crazy chicken lady. And <laughs> it is too. my handle on a lot of things I do. Yes. Crazy chicken, chicken mama. I have chickens, too. <laughs> oh, you he know let what? us give a high five. You know what? I usually, I he usually never interrupt that. that. We got away with it. He wasn't <laughs> expecting it. <laughs> okay. So let's get back to the topic at hand. We just watched that PSA. Yes. You are a trauma program manager. Correct. At at Centera Virginia Beach General. Yes. How has your role kind of influenced the way you feel about PSAs like this one and campaigns like this one? Well, uh, interesting, I, believe it or not, I've been a RN for 27 years. Originally got into nursing to be a nurse midwife. Oh. Got a taste of emergency nursing during nursing school and that was all she wrote. So I've been an emergency, tra emergency room trauma nurse for 26 years now. Oh. And it's probably more of my bedside clinical experience working in trauma centers that has shaped um, my desire for injury prevention after all the heartbreak that you, you tend to see at the bedside. Um, as with any natural progression of a career in my line of work, you know, you graduate from maybe bedside and go into something different. And I did uh, join a trauma program uh, administration pursuing designations and trauma center verifications. So that's my current role is overseeing a trauma program and that's coordinating activations, you know, herding cats, also known as surgeons. That's um, what we do here too. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so um, it's more of a it's more of a management thing, but uh, having some stake still in what I call the backdoor legislative end of things and being able to impact, impact trauma care uh, as opposed to just at the bedside. But at the state level, we're involved with the state regional system, the state system. Um, so it's, it's more of a purview and having more impact globally. Mm -hmm. But I would say it's my role as a clinical nurse that really shaped yeah, where well, I am today. As a child of someone who also works in trauma, thank you for your service for all oh, those years, you. working the crazy hours and doing the hard job that a lot of us could not do because it's hard. Yeah. Yeah, it is, but it's rewarding, and, and it's a sickness yes. to a certain extent. It really is. It's yes. in your blood. You're an adrenaline junkie. Yeah. You? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Now, when it comes to, like, families, and because um, what we were looking at in the PSA was, like, car accidents, mm -hmm. right? You know, or car, car crashes, right? Um, what are some of the tips that families could embody when they're behind the wheel? I think what I've seen now that I can say decades because I'm that old, um, <laughs> what I've seen is a transition in the number of um, th things that are harming people as far as motor vehicle crashes go. Mm -hmm. um, cars are certainly much safer, mm -hmm. but there are a lot more of them. And what you're you know, holding in your hand and cell phones and things that we carry about us are now probably one of the leading sources of distraction. Yeah. So I think just beyond keeping your eyes on the road, which is obvious, um, I, I think a very good tip, and I try to do it when I'm driving as well, is be a good passenger. Mm. Don't create distractions, but I really depend on my passengers to do what used to be maligned as backseat driving. There's so much going on. I love it when somebody says, watch out for that car over there because you can't watch it all. And, you know, not only is the trend for people to be looking at their phones when they're driving or doing something other than keeping their eyes on the road, but passengers are doing the same. So I think we've lost that peripheral backseat driver, which actually... 
in retrospect, although it can't be proven, probably prevented a lot of accidents yes. historically. Yes. Yes. Is somebody yes. else seeing something for you while you're driving? So I think that'd be a, a big hint. Um, I try to practice it myself. I try yeah. not to live on my phone when I'm the passenger. And uh, my husband might not like it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I love that. And as someone with your background, why are campaigns like the DMV's Local Heroes campaign so important for awareness? I think the message there is is the one of, of heartbreak that um, people who are actually responding to the scene and receiving the ex, uh, patients at the trauma center, it's a first-hand experience of how these, these life's changing mm. scenarios that only take a minute decision can actually alter the trajectory of somebody's life and um, you know I could never work EMS I give these guys a, a yeah. lot of credit for being at the scene scraping people off the road pulling them out of cars mm -hmm. um, by the time they come to the emergency department there's some semblance of packaged for us but yeah. uh, during a resuscitation you, you kind of go into automatic mode and you, you know your job yeah. it's after that really the heartbreak settles in. Well, what we can say is, uh, again, we certainly appreciate you for your service, all the first responders out there. We appreciate yes. you, what you guys do. We did put the information with DMV up there on the screen. Gina, thank you so much yes. for taking the time to uh, talk to us today and uh, thank you. make sure you thank go you take care of those us. chickens. Yes, I will. Cluck, 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 sorry. <laughs> thank all you. Right.